Hello fellow Pandora and jewelry enthusiasts. Today I will be sharing with you some of the Pandora Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year's 2022 collection that was released earlier on in the year worldwide, online and in store. Pandora has based this collection on the theme of love locks. I was really excited to see this because Pandora has previously released pieces that included keys and locks as well as you know bracelets based on that theme so I was interested to see what new they would come up with. They also released some Mickey and Minnie Mouse charms, Disney, Pandora Me, and of course Chinese New Year's. So one of the first pieces in the collection that was on my wish list that I did not get includes the T-Bar Heart Snake Chain Bracelet um, that was finished in the 14 karat gold plated. Um, I do have it in the rose gold and the silver. They work great to wear just on their own as well as maybe with a few charms or if you like to fill them up, you can wear it that way as well. So hopefully I will get that at a later point and then show you. So the first charm I'm going to share with you today is the birthday charm. It is the braided open work December birthstone charm. That is my birthday month. I do appreciate all of the birthday months that they have. They're very vibrant and they go well with other designs as well as I've seen other fellow collectors do so with their bracelets. I only picked up one this time and as you can see it's a stunning cabochon cut turquoise blue stone set in the center of the infinity braid which is a symbol for eternity. And this goes to both sides of the charm. So as you can see, there's the infinity braid that goes all the way around, and then you've got the stone set on both sides of the charm. The next piece I'm going to talk about is the Pandora Moments typewriter dangle charm. As you can see, it is a dangle charm. Here is the front, and then here is the back of the charm. You can see all the detailing there. This is based on a retro typewriter. Um, my mom had one, so when I was in elementary school, I did utilize one, and then they went into electronic typewriters, and then soon after computers. This design incorporates some pink enamel on eight of the keys with the word love spelled out across the four middle keys. There's a curling piece of paper unfurling at the top which is engraved with the typewritten message you are my type. On the roller knobs on the side there is some two round brilliant cut cubic zirconia stones set and then of course the Pandora mammogram stamped on the middle of the carriage. Now, if you take a closer look, Pandora has snuck in a couple hearts. Uh, there is a heart on the dangle piece from the bale. There is also a heart on the end of the message, which is embossed. And I do believe that is it for this one, but they snuck that in there. Oh, and of course with the Typewritten love, there is a little heart embossed to replace the ye O. The next charm I'm going to talk about is the Open Work Chain Link Padlock Charm. From a price point, Pandora did a really great service to make it affordable for many collectors to pick this piece up if they so choose to do so. Um, it is inspired by love locks placed on bridges around the world by happy couples. This charm features little padlocks hanging from cut out mesh pattern, which is similar to a chain link um, kind of fence. And then the sides of the charm are engraved with the message locked in your heart. While well, there's two padlocks that are inscribed with true love and love you. So as you can see, there's the engraving on the side of the charm on both sides and then of course you've got um, the padlocks here's the first one it says true love and then the next one that says love you and it just goes all the way around lots of detail the 
Next charm I'm going to talk about is the Pandora Moments Rose Heart Padlock Dangle Charm. Now, Pandora has released previous charms that have rose themes, and I really appreciated this, so this is going on that bracelet. And you can see it's got the two parts, and then the back side of the charm. And you can see the heart embossed on the bail there on both sides of the charm. So this charm in particular features two heart-shaped padlocks hanging from an oval bail. Cutout rose motif decorates the front padlock while the message on the other one says I love you more than anything. And of course the back side of that is plain so if you do have a Pandora look that has the uh, engraver machine, perhaps you may get some initials placed on the back of that one. There is a little leaf that's entwined around the top lock and a tiny heart stamp shape on the bail, which I've pointed out, but as you can see, there's the leaf here and that just wraps around the handle of the lock itself. The next charm I'm going to talk about comes in three different uh, metals, finishes. Uh, the one is in silver, so I'll place that there. One is in rose gold. And then, of course, the 14 karat plated. So this design is the Padlock and Key Dangle Charm. It's a really interesting design as it does function as a padlock and key. The two parts, the key could be a charm itself, style it next to the padlock or wearing them two together. Um, or you could give the key to a loved one and have the lock to yourself or have them have the lock and you can wear it as a shared uh, charm. There's sparkling clear cubic zirconia stones forming a key shape on one side of the padlock. On the other side, there's a smooth and polished look to it. The key element of the charm itself is adorned with the word love in two areas of the design. I keep them together, so not to lose one, but the key itself is interchangeable between the charms and can be utilized. So that is how it unlocks. And as you can see, the key comes out and it says love on the top, love across the um, key on that side and then it goes to both sides of that charm and then there you go you've got the pave detailing of course the lock itself and then the plain um, smooth finished look on the one side in which I think you could probably engrave something on it just it is rounded so probably sideways would work best and that is the padlock charm. I wear it with my Pandora Me uh, link necklace as well as with the Me um, bracelets. Works really well. Um, you're free to wear it on anything that you so choose, like an O-ring pendant even as well. It just, it's a great new design that Pandora has come up with. And we'll just take a closer look. There is the rose gold. And it's got Pandora actually written on the handle on both sides, on all the terms. And then the 14 karat plated. The next charm I'm going to share with you is the padlock and heart key dangle. This is one charm in itself, does not separate. It's got this chunky silver charm featuring a large cutout heart in the center on both sides and a little key that dangles from the top of the charm. The words B minor are engraved in a handwritten font at the bottom of the charm itself. So as you can see there, there's the B mine, the bottom of the charm, there's the cutout and the cutout and then of course the key which has a little heart cutout at the top of it as well. 
The next charm in the collection was the Spinning Compass. I already had a compass from the um, Club Charm collection, which was Rose Gold, so I didn't pick that one up, but it is a cute design. They also had the Clover Horseshoe and Ladybird Three Side Charm, which I may get at a later point. They do have the Chinese Mythical Phoenix Dangle Charm, in which I made sure to purchase that right when it came out. And this is it there. It celebrates the renewal of life inspired by the mythical phoenix, a symbol of grace and regeneration. It's colorful. It's got this brilliant cut pink and cerise crystal and red cubic zirconia stones, hand-painted blue enamel decorating the bird's body and eyes on both sides of the charm. And there are three hidden hearts on the back of the curling tail on the other side of the charm itself. And I do believe there's a little bit of white enamel in there as well, and the blue just kind of bleeds into it, which is nice. So there we go. And there are the three hearts at the tops of the feathers of the charm. It's really actually beautiful. I, I really appreciate this charm. The next charm I'm going to share with you is the Sparkling Open Work Heart Charm. It is a puffy heart styled charm. It has a whole bunch of hearts just nestled together inside one big heart and two are fully adorned with sparkling stones while the other ones are adorned with single round brilliant cut cubic zirconia stones glittering. And it just, it has that um, kind of sparkle look to it, which I really appreciate. And it goes well with a lot of different bracelets. So this was one piece I was looking forward to. I know Pandora does quite a bit of heart designs, so I just, I had to get it. I love it. The next piece I'm gonna share with you in the collection uh, is the Red Heart Solitaire Clip. I did not pick that up um, maybe another time. I did pick up the Metallic Pink Heart Charm though, and I picked up two of them. So I do have this particular charm in the purple and the red. I do like that Pandora came out with the Fuchsia Pink. It's vibrant, it's a uh, hand finished in sterling civil with an enamel and it creates a metallic aesthetic to it. It just, I picked up two because of the design that I have planned out with it and it goes onto both sides and it is threaded. So that's, I like that, that's nice. The next charm I'm gonna talk about is the Chinese Tiger charm. So this is one of the pieces I had to get right off the hop um, when the collection was released. It is the Year of the Tiger right now. Both my brothers and my dad are all tigers, um, believe it or not. Anyways, at the top aspect of this charm, there is the enamel for the symbol that represents King. It's the Chinese characters for that just at the top of the charm there, as you can see. Uh, featured on this charm is the glossy black enamel hand-painted on the stripes, the nose, the tail, glittering pink crystals set into his eyes and across his fur. Um, and then, of course, you know, he's got the feature of his mouth open. So this is the charm itself. See that his mouth is open, you got the pink, CZs for his eyes. And then of course there's these little toes with the little black enamel. And then there is the pink CZs across his fur at the back. And then bottom of the term, you can see the pads of his feet as well. His feet, almost the front paws look like little hearts. And it is not threaded, but what a stunning piece for the year of the tiger. The next piece I'm going to share with you was high up on my wish list, um, but I was patient and waited to get it during a promotion. It is the Club Charm for 2022 Lady Bird 
dangle heart charm. And as you can see, it the wings do open up and the body is a rose gold heart. And then you've got the lab created diamond in the center of a little heart there. And of course the little antennae. And then at the back of it, it says, Hope has wings. Hope has wings. And of course it says Pandora 2022. It is the club charm, so it is going on my club charm bracelet. I have collected all the club charms that have been released over the years. And so it had to be had to be there. I had to have this. It's fantastic. The next charm I'm going to share is the Pandora Moments Heart Padlock Double Dangle Charm. It just has that extra bling to it. There we go. This is a two-tone double dangle charm inspired by locks that lovers place on bridges representing everlasting love. So it's got the 14 karat rose gold plated heart shape frame padlock hanging at the front of a silver padlock that is decorated with pave set brilliant cut cubic zirconia. The words together always are engraved on the second padlock and a tiny padlock and locks the two elements together to symbolize two hearts coming together as one. So as you can see, there's the rose gold and then there's the silver with the in crested CZ and then the back end of it says together always and then there is the little padlock that is connecting both of the padlocks together and then of course they've got the oval um, bail. The next term that I'm going to be sharing with you that I did not pick up was the Rose Sparkling All-Seeing Eye Charm. I may share that with you at a later point if I do decide to pick that one up. Um, I do have the Rose Splittable Ying Yang Sparkling Dangle Charm. I also do have a previously released um, retired um, Ying Yang Charm that Pandora did come out with. So I'll just place that there. This can be bought to share with a friend or soulmate. I personally just prefer to keep it to myself. Um, to go with my inspiration slash um, themed bracelet, I guess, that I have going here. And it has a balance. It symbolizes balance. So the dangles are finished with 14 karat rose gold and decorated with shimmering enamel. The yin dangle features a clear cubic zirconia stone and a swirling blue and purple enamel background, while the yang dangle is adorned with a sparkling blue stone against a pearlescent enamel. Um, there is also just some writing on the back, and it, uh, there we go, it has this kind of like braided or circular pattern that just details the bail itself. So this is to my yang and it's got that little embossed heart on the bottom there and there you go you got the pearlescent enamel and the blue stone and then you've got the yin which also has an embossed heart at the top and it's got that pearlescent purplish blue enamel you can see that there with the clear cz The next charm that I purchased was the Rose Hamsey All Seeing Eye and Feather Three Sided Charm. So as you can see, it's got the feather, it's got the All Seeing Eye, and the Hamsa. And there we go. And this is not a threaded charm. It's open on the sides there. I'll just place it there for you to look at and chat about it a little bit. So this is a rose gold charm. It has a shining eye set with a vibrant blue crystal decorating one edge. The other is the raised hamsa design 
featuring clear pave detailing and on the third is a raised feather with the white enamel finish. This online I wasn't convinced to get until I saw it on in person in store and then I had to get it as I do I actually have um, a bracelet that is based on the theme of beliefs and not so much religion but spirituality I would say the next charm that I'm going to share with you is the rose entwined double heart dangle charm and there it is there it's got the rose gold with the pave entwined with another uh, non seized heart and then of course the silver um, second which is behind the front charm and the detailing continues onwards on the back of the charm the bale itself is a silver um, oval bale as you can see and I'll just place that there so this charm is a double dangle charm hand finished in sterling silver and 14 karat rose gold plating two hearts entwined together at the front of the charm one smooth and one set with a cubic curve zirconia stones that I mentioned hanging behind is the silver heart element which is engraved with the words I love you unconditionally and it's in a repeating pattern the next piece that I'm going to talk about is the Chinese fortune Pixu charm I thought this guy was so awesome I'll just show you here um, there he is He's got the red enamel with the symbol in his chest, and then he's got some CZ eyes. And of course, he's got the 14 karat plated, and you can see his tail at the back there. And then the detailing of his paws on the bottom there. And it is a non-threaded charm. So I had to pick this charm up right away. It's inspired by the mythical protector Pixu. The Chinese fortune Pixu charm is a symbol of good luck and you can carry it with you wherever you go. It's hand finished in a 14 karat gold plating. Um, it's a symbol of a hybrid creature known for its appetite for gold, silver, and jewels. The winged lion and dragon head creature is decorated with the Chinese caricature meaning fortune in the red and black enamel. And of course, like I had indicated, there's the two clear stones which adorn his eyes. So perfect for Chinese New Year's. And I have him on one of my Asian themed bracelets. I have multiple of that. As I do come from um, Asian, Southeast Asian background. <clears throat> They did also release some engravable charms in which I did not pick up. They didn't have that available. It's the Pendormormon's Heart charm, which wasn't available. They also had the apparently a spiritual dream catcher that was set in the um, 14 karat plated. I didn't see that one. I did manage to pick up the Sparkling Entwined Hearts charm in the 14 karat plated in CZ. Um, I do have this in the other um, released metals, which include the rose gold and the silver. So that's that charm. And it just, it's beautiful. It's got the, um, two hearts entwined together. And then along the sides, you can see the top aspects. There's entwined hearts in the design. And that goes across the bottom as well. The next pieces are the Pandora Me collection. I did get this one as a gift and I did feature it in my other video that uh, includes the spring collection, but this is the Crush Styling Word Link. And the Word Links work great on the necklaces and bracelets. Um, you can also wear them with the earrings from the Pandora Me collection as well. I also managed to pick up the Styling Heart Connector 
from the Pandora Me collection. It is in the rose gold plated um, metal and just opens like that. It works great. I can also, you can also wear, I guess, with the earrings um, as well as the necklace itself with the Pandora Me collection. And then <clears throat> included in the Pandora Me collection was the angel open ring. And it has the word angel in a gothic font and of course you can dangle some of the pieces from the Pandora Me collection. I personally like to um, stack it with other pieces, but there we go. And it, I wear it on my thumbs and it's open at the bottom there. The next Pandora Me ring that I purchased was the Love Open Ring. It is in the rose gold, it's got the word love inscribed on it and it's in the handwritten style and then of course it's open at the bottom again I like to wear this on my thumb um, you can also put the dangle pieces or stack it I personally just stack this one now I was gifted this by one of my good friends it is the Pandora Me black enamel ring. Um, I love that it's got the rose gold and then it has the glossy black enamel. This, I guess, was a very popular piece that was released. Um, so I got this for Valentine's Day, actually. And I like to stack it with my other Pandora Me pieces and rings that I have. And then, there was, of course, the Minnie Mouse tennis bracelet, which I didn't pick up. I did pick up the Mickey and Minnie Mouse kissing dangle charm. And again, Pandora has this, them just kind of kissing. And then you've got the little heart there, which dangles from the bale itself. It says Disney on one side and then Pandora with the stampage. And it's just... Mickey and Minnie in their traditional clothing, kissing their little hands back up. It's really cute. I love it. And then their feet. There we go. And then the next piece I got was the Mickey and Minnie Mouse airplane charm. And Minnie's the co-pilot with Mickey flying the plane, decorated with little hearts and the word love on each side. I do like that he's flying a retro plane and he's got his goggles and the hidden Mickey on the word love. So see, you can see he's got the hidden Mickey head right there in the word love. Sorry if I can't focus it. Can't see that. There you go. And then let's take a look at the other side of the charm itself. And there's the back end. And of course, it's got the love with the hidden Mickey heart. And there's a little heart on the tail of the, the wing there. And it also has the wheels at the bottom. And of course, um, just the Pandora and Disney markings on the bottom end as well. So that is that term. Now the next piece I picked up was the Disney Mickey and Minnie clips. Initially I was only going to get one but you know what um, I got two. So on one side it's got the Minnie head with the CZ and then on the other side it's got Mickey. So just put that there. It does not have the um, rubber on the inside, so it's an old style clip, which I do appreciate um, for certain style bracelets. Right now I'm using them on a couple of my Disney bracelets that I don't have safety chains for because I don't want to lose all my charms on them. 
The next piece that I got is the Mickey and Minnie Mouse padlock charm. Just to keep with the theme of padlocks that they released with the Valentine's Day collection. Um, so that is the front aspect. It's got the hole there for the key to go in. And that is on the front charm, Mickey and Minnie. And then, of course, it says uh, engraving on the top and a key. And it says you and me on the top. On the other side of the charm, they've got the gloved hands of Mickey and Minnie to form a heart. And of course, on the top, it says perfect pair. So that's, this is just really cute. I like that design. Place it in there. Get a better look at it. And there you go. The most wanted charm that I heard, it was quite popular, um, sold out online, I think, right when it came, and then in stores during the promotion, is the Mickey Mouse Double Dangle Charm. He's got his little gloves in the front, and they're just covering his little eyes. He's got the rose gold detailing there. And then, of course, the Mickey head on the bale itself with the CZ. And then the back of it says, be yourself, which is awesome. I love this. I style this particular one on the new um, Pandora O-ring from Disney that was released with two retired um, Disney pieces that go around him that says, believe and dream with a two-tone. So I was lucky enough to find these, pick them up to style with it. The next piece that I'm gonna share with you is the mini ring. They had a ring promo that was going on at that point. I had to pick this up. It's got the CZ on it and it, it just is so nice. It's got Pandora. Disney on the inside of the band itself. So I guess this matches the tennis bracelet that they released that I did not pick up. The next piece that I'm going to share with you is the Disney Pandora Mickey Mouse Silver O Pendant. And this is what I actually put that Mickey Double Dangle piece on. And it just clips and opens there with a the heart. Push on the heart in the center. And the back end of it, it says, Believe in Magic. So that is the Disney O pendant that I had to get for my Disney pieces. And then I guess there was some park um, released charms as well. We don't have a Disneyland in Canada, so that's not something I was able to easily access. On my wish list is the Mickey Mouse and Minnie teacup charm that they released in the parks. Um, they also have an Eiffel Tower one, which was really cool. And then I did pick up the Sparkling Angel Wings ring. I do have it from the previous collection with the clear CZ, but this had the pink detailing CZ. So if you just want to compare, since I have it, there you go. I just feel like with this one, the stones kind of pop a bit more and it just almost seems like there's a little bit more, um, I guess, detailing it to it because of that. So though that is that ring there with the pink CZ. And then there was a freehand heart which was released in the rose gold and a couple of the sparkling pink rings. I do believe that I did pick up the um, heart ring somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't have it ready to show you guys. Sorry about that. I do have, there was also, I guess, a 14 karat rose uh, sorry, 
14 karat plated wish tiara ring I didn't pick up, but I did pick up the sparkling timeless um, wish ring in the 14 karat. I do have it in the rose gold and the silver. So it's just, I like to wear them on at the same time. So it's just something I had on my wish list to get. They also released some uh, tag pendants in which you could engrave that I didn't pick up. I did pick up the um, Pave Hearts Angel Wings necklace with the rose detailing. I do have it in the clear detailing. It is put away so I don't have it out to show you. Um, but I just felt that this piece, like the details on it, like the halo or the angel wings and the halo on the heart just popped a bit more with the contrast of the cerise CZs that they had there. And on the back, it just has Pandora written on the back side of this necklace. And then they released a sparkling freehand heart necklace, which I didn't pick up, and gravel round tag in the rose gold, and again, the freehand hoop earrings, which I may pick up at a later point because I do have my tops of my ears pierced, and that was something I didn't think of wearing there, but I think that it would go great. So that is the Pandora Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year's 2022 collection release, the pieces that I had to share with you. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed a cup of coffee or some tea while sitting back and relaxing and enjoying this video.